Okay, now I've had to put the song, but I'm gonna go ahead and start um, disconnecting the injectors on both sides. All the connection here for the last floor AC and all the stuff I already got to disconnect. So I just gotta do the injector and then remove my coil packs and the wires then I will have to move the I mean to take the intake out valve covers and we go from there we are getting closer I mean it is a mess of this the runs pretty fun strong run like it should but it has a lot of leaks like as you see it's hard to see through the song, but it is pretty bad. So I'm just gonna get to it. Gonna make a video about how to take everything apart, but it's taking too long, you know. I only have today left to do it because it's been raining. I've been sick, finally feeling better to be here. Yesterday I was fine, but it rained all day. So today is a pretty day. I'm gonna start taking everything apart. Then we go from there. Okay, so I got all the bolts out of the integra here and also the valve covers and that down there for the Sony, hard to see but there right here, that's a little two tender here, you put that one down, the other one up and then slide it out, the way you don't break it and of course you remove the green piece first, you slide it back Press it into it and pull it out and it comes right out. That's where I am right now. Just gonna go ahead and get that out. And that's what a 2100 plus miles looks like, especially when they don't take care of it. You know? Like that's bad, like really bad. We call that. Actually, I don't know if it's visible because the sun, but all that is black and I hear this bunch of build up. I ain't good. I ain't good at all. I'm not surprised this still running the way it did. Hopefully, after I clean all that, don't cause no other problems. Hopefully. So, we see. Well, now I'm gonna remove the, this right here. And then I get to the head. Uh, the way I do it, this that's what I was told. Close this one a little bit, then that one, and then that one, and then that one. It's a little bit at a time until you get it all. Try to get it all to the same time, that way they won't bend. So that's what I'm about to do. And I, I, I will record it, but it's taking it too long. And so, But that's how I do it, same on this side. And then we go from there. See, see how everything goes. Well, I almost forgot. I also gotta take that intake manifold out. So I think I'm gonna do it from the bottom. Maybe I don't know. I figure out in a minute. But if, like I say, if you remove the engine, it's hard to see for the sun. The only way that I that I way I do it anyways, put an engine cherry picker. Hook it to the heads after you take the heads out or have you want to do it and then lift the motor, take the motor mounts out, the one on this side, the other one on the other side, and then drop it as much as you can and that that will give you access to the four bolts right here because if not I mean, you can see you have no room. After you remove the heads you have a little more room but it's still not enough so you have to drop it and then get it from them. And I use, I use this ratchet right here, that, that, that's that, so I put it right there, and then with the crowbar or something, get them loose, I'll do it anyways, and plus you got the ones at the bottom, I believe there's about two more on the bottom, there's four up here, and four on the bottom, plus what is on the oil pan, so, this is where I am right now, just gonna continue, hopefully everything comes good, cause 
So it was running fine, other than the leak course. But as you can see, when you don't change oil when you're supposed to, that's what happens. Okay, I got that removed. Now I'm gonna give. I would say a blower blow it up, but I think it could be better if I do my backing shop to soak all them loose parts right there. But next, I gotta clean inside the engine because it is bad already. And then I'm gonna start with the heads and for the very. It's hard to see with the sun. Anyways, there's a bolt back there that you're gonna have to use this universal. To get it the rest you just get it like that but that one is complicated to get so you have to get that one which is still pretty pretty hard but yeah hey, it's doable i'm gonna do it and we go from there but before i do that i'm gonna remove the headers so i'm out there right now i'll remove the headers i'm not sure if i'm gonna take them all the way out because i gotta change the bottom ones too but for now, I'm just gonna remove the lifter rockets. And this, from what I heard before, you had to try to keep the same one where you got it out. So the way I do it, I get a piece of this. I'm not sure what they call. I mean, this is all. This is all I have. I got a screwdriver, a drill, and then drill. Eight holes, I believe that's what it is. I think, yeah, eight. Eight on which side? This is for the driver, passenger. That way, I keep it all in the same order. And, yep, that's what I'm about to do. And also, this is the top, this is the bottom, so same. So, I'm gonna put them like, like that. That way, I don't mix them up when I get done with it. So, that's what's up. Alright, I got one head out, and that's what I got. I don't see one clean, so that's a good sign. I mean, I knew I didn't get any freeze on the heads. It's like only a leak back on that corner right there, back there. So that's the reason I'm doing this. But I mean, it is dirty. Hopefully I can clean it decent because I gotta get it done and I don't think I'm gonna get done today but I would love to but I don't know. I mean as you see all that right there it's pretty bad right there. But I think the, the sleeves are fine I think. Look like it. Just gotta clean it a little bit and now I gotta work on that one. Alright I got both the heads out. And that one is the one that was leaking back there, right in there. That one fell, and the water was right in the freezer was running back there. But that was the only issue, other than being dirty. She has the power. She runs pretty good. So I hope I'm gonna try to clean it as best I can, then put it back together. Hopefully it works this time. Like I said, I already done it on my other one, but unfortunately. Somebody done it before and they stripped the, the treads on there so I wasn't able to torque it how I was supposed to so I'm just gonna put it to the side until summer and then work on it but I need this one for this winter so I also was gonna do the diamond belt cover gasket but it seems fun and I really don't have time to do it so I'm gonna just Keep it, just make this room, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to rebuild or anything like that because it needs a lot. So I'm just trying to do a quick job, hope they make it to the winter and that's about it. But to clean this, I have to turn this right here to be able to get this up. Hopefully that don't mess up with nothing. So, it got dark and I am looking decent I think that would be good enough anyways not too bad so I'm gonna go with it now 
I just gotta clean the front a little bit. And of course, I still gotta fix all around there for the head gasket. I'm trying to do a block and my. I'm not sure what I call. I find it and I bring it out. That's how dirty they are. My head's right there. That. So I'm gonna use brake cleaner to try to get rid as much as possible. But they both the same. So hopefully everything goes okay. So yesterday I replaced the marmont, but it was dark, so I didn't record it, and I got him apart, and this is what I got. I know they were bad, but I didn't know they were this bad, like they were. I'm lucky that the engine then just came out of the hood, honestly. Because I drove it like that on a bunch of hills. It was bad. So don't let your vehicle get this bad, guys. I should have changed this two years ago. And I know the transmission there right there too, so I'm gonna replace them next. I've been searching for a video to watch on how to do it, but there is there is one I will know that I can find anyway. So I'm gonna try to do one real quick in a minute so it's gonna warm up to go right now. For now I'm just gonna continue with cleaning the the block which I almost have it. See the sun blocks the view. It's decent. I'm getting in there, and I have the gasket for the timing thing to cover. But this one is still okay, so I can decide if I do it or not. I'm debating, you know, it's one of them. So we see. More cleaned up. And now I'm gonna. Get the blower, oh, my air compressor, I'm blowing up, I already got it lined up. And I already got my, this thing right there to make sure everything is straight and it is. I already checked that one too. So now, I'm gonna put the air compressor and start blowing all that up. Vacuum, suck everything that as much as I can, and then I probably go ahead and put my head in today. Hopefully, that's what I'm gonna do. That's where I am right now. And that's just as much as I, I could clean it. I tried, so I've been working all day in it. So, for now, that's all I'm gonna do. Like I said, I just wanna ruin it for this winter. Now, they have some stuff in there, I try to clean it, hopefully I can get as much as I can out of, out of them holes. So I'm gonna try to get my compressor blow as much as I can, make get the vacuum put in here, let it suck everything. Hopefully everything goes well. Anyways, here I am, I uh, got one head in, I still gotta torque the bolts, but to put it in there, I should have you already know this. The sun rubbers, they have this little whatever this color is, do it I say. You lay your head gasket in there. And this is they have a red that red line and close all that in there, that will be you facing upside. This doesn't have much and it just goes in there like that and once it's out of the back course and then the head also has a little hole that lines with that one right there. And that's just about all you have to do. I got a vacuum and suck as much as I could out of the cylinders and then a blower, blow it off, vacuum it again. And yeah, just to make sure there's nothing in it. So now I just wanna start putting it together and see how things goes. Hopefully everything goes good.